Hello, this is Hector Vladimir. Today is July 17th, 2024. I'd like to discuss the John Benet Ramsey case top theories or the top theories of how the crime occurred. I will not discuss the pros and cons or the holes on these theories on this recording. I will probably take each of those and present the problems and the likelihood of such theories being true or false in another show. One theory is that Patsy Ramsey killed John Benet Ramsey in a fit of outrage due to a violent rage attack over bedwetting or misbehavior. Then she hit her with this flashlight over the head. Then she quickly, having found out that the child is actually deceased, dead, she covered it up, the event, crime, the situation, covered it up to prevent prison time or lose her family or family contact and to prevent disgrace. And also she was a cancer survivor. Presumably she was still under some treatments and that was probably a reason also to want to avoid any kind of possible prison time. The Patsy bedwetting theory was a theory forwarded by criminal investigator Steve Thomas from the Boulder Police Department. He was assigned to the case in 1996. Another theory is that John Ramsey was abusing sexually or otherwise John Benet Ramsey and in the process, either during or after, killed John Benet Ramsey either because she threatened to tell she was making too much noise and risk discovery or something else. But this theory basically goes that John commits the crime, the murder, and covers it up without it being discovered, without him being caught either in any act of abuse or in the act of murder. And thus, he followed up with a cover-up, staging of the crime scene, staging of the body, hiding of the body, and as well as penning and authoring the long ransom note that was crafted to deceive the fake and deceiving kidnapping. But this theory goes that John abused and killed her and then had all kinds of reasons to cover it up to prevent disgrace and the likely prison time that he would face. Another theory is that Burke Ramsey, John Benet's older brother, killed John Benet Ramsey due to a violent rage attack just after she stole a piece of fruit or pineapple from his bowl. It is thought that someone in the house ate some pineapple in a bowl perhaps late at night and the theory goes that both kids children were in the kitchen with Burke eating fruit from the bowl and John Benet sneaking and stealing a piece or pineapple from his bowl and running away and then Burke Ramsey chasing after her with a Mac light flashlight which was found pictured on the Ramsey's kitchen table and he hit her with this flashlight over the head. The parents being awake or being awaked by the event found out the aftermath. Perhaps John Benet dying or dead and had motives to cover up the whole scene accident or happening to prevent disgrace, prevent jail time, prevent losing Burke or custody of Burke and they after that covered up the crime by staging the crime scene and writing the ransom note. Another theory, this theory was forwarded by Marcel Elfers, the author of the book John Benet, The Final Chapter. He forwarded this theory that says Patsy found John Benet and John Ramsey in the room, perhaps with John abusing John Benet. He calls it in a compromising position. Not sure exactly what he means by that, but I presume in an abusive position, perhaps sexually abusive, and at finding this, Patsy Ramsey grabs the flashlight or another object and attempts to hit John Ramsey, but somehow she hits John Benet. Elfers says that John was holding John Benet, and as Patsy was trying to hit John, he turns with John Benet, and she hits John Benet over the head, and then the child is either dead or dying on the spot and they both have a reason to cover up the crime. Patsy Ramsey wants to avoid prison, disgrace, and lose access to Burke, 
and her post cancer treatment and John has the reason to prevent disgrace accuse of incest and prison so they both have allegedly a drive or a reason to cover up the crime they both agree to stage the crime scene with John most likely staging the body as being strangled with a garrote he fashions the garrote puts the tape puts the body in a certain place the basement and Patsy writes the notes mostly her input but also John has a bit of input in it as well this is the theory from Marcel Elfers that Patsy Ramsey killed John Benet the other theory is that of an intruder or intruders that had quite a bit of hatred toward John Ramsey and killed John Benet out of a sexual molestation and abuse malice and left a fake ransom note to distract or thwart the investigation or to prevent being discovered this is a theory developed mostly by the investigator Lou Smith and there's a theory of an actual foreign faction basically the ransom note being an actual and real ransom note of a group of people that perhaps one or more persons attempted to kidnap John Benet but this was a kidnapping gone away gone wrong and the person or persons ended up killing John Benet in her home they left the notes where they intended the Ramses to find it without collecting it after killing the child perhaps to confuse the situation the investigation and prevent discovery the note was either written after the killing it is most likely many experts believe it was written after the killing perhaps to confuse and thwart the investigation or there is a chance it was written before the killing and it was just left behind whether it was purposely or accidentally left behind or events occurred that made them decide to leave as soon as possible whether it was one person or more or they thought it was probably too risky to retrieve the notes and they just made an escape so that is that foreign faction theory the last theory I want to discuss is one that I put forth I'm not sure if anybody has come up with that or with something similar it doesn't matter it is that Patsy Ramsey was either drugged exhausted and was in a very unstable weak unpredictable violent mental state and physical state I call it the sleepwalker killer theory where Patsy Ramsey wakes up in the middle of the night drugged exhausted in a very unstable weak unpredictable violent mental state brings the child to the kitchen feeds the child pineapple in a bowl and John Bonet wants to go back to bed she's complaining and Patsy in the state that she is I believe she may have been half asleep half unconscious or sleepwalking grabs the flashlights from the kitchen table and hits John Bonet and in the state that she is she is just either thinking she's in a nightmare or just not fully grasping of what's going on she allows the child to just die and time passes perhaps John wakes up maybe immediately or maybe a few minutes later or perhaps many minutes to hours later finds the scene finds perhaps Patsy either in the kitchen or passed out or she may have even gone back to bed and they find the child deceased and they decide to cover it up after Patsy perhaps explains what happened being a involuntary event or set of actions that she took she instead of thinking that she was actually having a nightmare she actually realizes that she actually committed the attack and at that realization that she actually committed the murder and the child is now dead has been dead for some time they both decide to cover it up the child is gone they perhaps thought why make the situation even worse and perhaps end up in prison lose contact with Burke disgrace the entire family and they decided to cover it up they have enough drive and of a reason I believe in my mind to cover it up the theory is based basically on the very large problem of the bowl of pineapple and John Bonet having 
ate that pineapple during the time that she was allegedly and reportedly asleep. And the Ramses adamantly deny having prepared that bowl of pineapple, Patsy Ramsey specifically, and adamantly deny having fed pineapple to the child. They, according to them, the reports, I believe, have no clue who put that pineapple bowl there. And Patsy Ramsey even said that it is very unlikely that she would have prepared that bowl because it had a very large spoon in it. And she really would not have done such thing. So I believe that theory to be viable. I'm not going to say it is the most likely theory, but it does explain the utter ignorance of about the bowl of pineapple. It explains the problem of John Bonnet having ate some pineapple and Burke having denied even having ate pineapple and John Bonnet and him being up at night. And it explains a lot why both parents would be adamantly denying anything that having to do with the killing. They both have very compelling reasons and strong reasons to cover it up. So those are the top theories. The last one, of course, being one that I forwarded a few years back. Thanks for listening and hope to catch you in the next episode.